Honestly, I am so grateful to you for patronizing High School South Africa. Me. I am so excited. But the best thing you can do for me now is to give me your endorsement by hitting on the subscribe button. It means you really appreciate everything that is happening here. And then you turn on the notification bell so that you get updates like that. You see, I am here at GSTS. I'm meeting Daniel. There's a car coming, a taxi. You can't kill us. Okay, Daniel, see. Since Daniel got to GSTS, he's never gotten the opportunity to go out of this campus to go and experience anything from any school be before. And today is his chance. Daniel, you are going to which school? Diembra Senior High School. At Diembra, have you been there before? No, please. Do you know where it is? No, please. Are you from Takradi here? No, please. Amazing. So it's going to be a super, super duper experience for you. Yes. And yes. Um, this morning, what, what are your expectations as you go in there? Oh, I'm expecting a very um, neat and serene environment. Conducive enough for the teacher and learning to be going on smoothly. I'm expecting to see people, their boys and their girls dressed in their uniforms, going to class. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I'm, people say I keep, I keep saying amazing, amazing, but I don't know why. It's, it's just that's automatic. But I know he's the head boy, bro. Do you have something to tell him? All right, Daniel. Good luck. But first of all, I want to tell you, just go and portray the behavior of GSTS. Let them know you are coming from the land of giants. But just to have fun. Yes, I will. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. He is telling you to go and portray the behavior of GSTS there. It means you are not going to experience their culture. Is that what you're going to do? Is that what you, you want him to go and do? No, no, no. He has to because, you see, every culture, you have good and bad. So the good aspects you have to learn it, and the bad aspects you put it aside. That's what I'm trying to do. So the ultimate goal is that you're going, you're going for a whole new teaching and learning experience. How teaching and learning happens over there, the culture, things you do over there that you don't do over there. Because there are interesting things they do over there that you don't do here. Now you're going to look at it and then you come back and tell us a story. So that the whole of West African schools can also learn from that. Is that okay? Yes, please. Now, should I wait for you to go and hug your friends or <laughs> do <laughs> breakfast before we go or what? No, I'm ready. Let's go. We should go now. Yes, we should go, go now. now. Yes. Ajembra. Fly for us! Daniel, I have done my job. I have brought you here at Adiembra. I'll come back for you at 4 p.m. And then you tell all of us a story. Is that okay? Yes, yes, please. I was picturing, I was actually picturing a very well-developed place. But yes, and my expectations have been met so far. So what's your name? I'm Daniel. Daniel. Blessing boy. Daniel, blessing boy. Yes. Excise them. Yes, please. Okay, so what are your combinations? I'm doing science with biology. Biology, oh, yes, okay. Please. I thought maybe you'd be a geography student. Oh, no, I'm a biology student. Okay, so, what's your combination? Same, same combination. I'm also a biology oh, student. That's really nice. Yes, that's good. So, how many houses are there in the school? Uh, six houses. You have, do you want just, you have house, one house, two house, three house, four, five, and six. Or you want the names? Yes, the names and Let's them. Let's take the suits. Per gender. The, the houses per gender. The houses. houses for the girls and the houses for the boys. It's it's the same. We have house one, we have the, uh, the girl. Mm -hmm. Um, house one, we have since we, it's a mid school, we have the boys' dormitory and the girls' dormitory. So, um, the house one, 
have guys and uh, males and females, how soon to has males and females, same as all, it applies to all the houses. Oh wow, so there are girls and boys living in the same? No, the girls dormitory is here and we also have the boys dormitory down there, so oh. they are all in different dormitories. Let's go to the land. So, your you all sleep. The girls are in the girls dormitory and the boys too are in the boys dormitory. And we sleep in houses. So we have house one, house two, house three, four, and six. The famous Adembra Senior High School. It's nice to be here to actually see it in person. Because I've not really been, I've, not, I've never been here. Just heard about the school some time ago. Good morning. So I'm um, Daniel Blessing Boy and I'll be spending my day here with you. I'm looking forward to having a fun and educative day. Thank you. It's 7.30 and we'll be having assembly this morning so we have to move to the assembly grounds. It wasn't what I expected. As for that one, it wasn't what I expected. It was... Um, so we had our assembly under the sun. We didn't have it in the room and the sun was just scorching and I was just standing inside and sweating. At assembly, I actually felt very nervous. At the beginning of all this, I actually felt very nervous. So by 8 o'clock, the assembly is over and we're moving back to our classrooms for lessons to start. Okay. So we have to see the headmaster first before the assembly begins. So why are some of the boys in black shoes and black socks and the others are in sandals? Um, the school made a decision of well, like wearing shoes on. Let's go wearing shoes on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Then sandals on Thursdays and Fridays. But you see, students are stubborn, so some of them overlook that policy that should wear shoes on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Oh, uh -huh. I yes. understand. So they are supposed to be wearing sandals today. No shoes, shoes today. Sandals are Thursdays and Fridays. Oh, okay. Yes. So this is the headmaster's office. Good morning, sir. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. You are looking wonderful. Yes, please. Yes. And say yes. same about you. Great. Who are you? Why are you here? How can you be of help to you? So, I'm Daniel Blessing Boy. Daniel Blessing Boy. Boy, okay. Yes, and I'm a student of GCS. Yes. Great. I'm reading science. Okay. And ever since I stepped into GCS, yes, I've never had the chance of experiencing any other school's culture. So, I'm here to experience your culture, know what it is like to be an Adembra student. I'm here to know what it is like to be in a class be in a science class in a Denver school yes and then then i'm also hoping to pick up a few things from the boys and girls over here and i'm looking forward to making new friends you are most welcome thank you sir you should prepare i'm sure after going through all the experiences you will ask for a transfer to and <laughs> <laughs> so i'm going to make my transfer forms ready as soon as you take that decision, you sign, and I will not let you go back Thank to Reverend Dr. Ken. Thank you, sir. I must say that it's quite a very beautiful environment you have uh, here. Thank God. I didn't see any litter. They like the whole place is neat. The boys and the girls have dressed so neatly. You so, experience more. You just relax. <laughs> okay, that's your first time of coming here. Yes, please. Okay. You experience more, and we promise you all the best. Okay. Thank you, sir. We'll take you to the assembly. Okay. Please have a good day. Thank you. Same to you. This is my star, raising my sin. Oh, oh.
So let us be one another's keeper so that the oneness that you are talking about will be achieved. May the Lord add his blessing to his word. Amen. Amen. So as usual, when classes start, we don't want to see you roaming around. Am I okay? Yes. Be in your class. When it's time for break, then you go. Don't go out when it's not break. Um, yesterday something happened at GSTS. The first time that a student from Adembra Senior High School, to be specific, a girl, went there to experience the atmosphere. And she was there the whole of the day. She enjoyed their classes. She enjoyed their dining meals and many other things. And the boys were really happy. The giants experienced the conquer side of Adembra Senior High School. And <coughs> thankfully today, they are also here to come and experience what goes on over here. And so uh, it's part of a program being conducted by High School Africa. And it's an exchange program that is taking place among the schools. And so today we are fortunate to have a student from GSTS visit our school. He's coming to have an engagement with all of us, you students, the staff, our compound and everything. And as you have always been doing, I know you are going to give very good account of yourselves. And by the time everything is over, I'm sure our guest is going to change school to our school. Oh, you did a clap. Yes, I'm very sure. And so for me, I've made my transfer forms ready. As soon as he takes that decision, I'm going to give him the forms he will fill. And he's not going to go back to GSTS again. And I'll just call the headmaster, Reverend Dr. Ken, that Ken, your student is not coming again. He's now part of our university high school. I hope you are happy. Yes, sir. Yes. So, as you have always been doing, give him all the necessary courtesies, the respect, all the support that you have to give him to enjoy his stay in Adebe Senior High School. I'm sure you want to hear something from him. Yes, sir. You want to hear something from him? Yes, sir. I won't mention his name. You will mention oh. his name as I give him the microphone. I invite our guest from GSTS. Oh, do it better, do it better. He's looking wonderful. Later, I will show you the video how our girl was accepted over there. Our lady conqueror was accepted over there. We are conquerors, even though you are giants, but we are conquerors. We are able to conquer giants and whoever comes our way. And so these are wonderful people that are going to have an encounter with. I want to give you the microphone. If you want to say something to them, you can say it. Good morning. Adembra Senior High School. I'm so excited to be here this morning. Before me right now, I'm seeing so many beautiful faces. Like, I'm really anticipating, like I'm really anticipating to make new friends today. And I'm looking forward to having an educative and fun day. Thank you. Tell them your name. Okay. So, I'm Daniel Blessing Boy. If you go contrary to any of the rules, you will not be spared. So, don't think that because you have one visitor here, we are going to relax our rules. When it's done, anytime you will be there. Everything is there going to be as usual. Our seekers will come and then you obey all school rules and regulations. So from now, we are going to take a school anthem. Presence, a fountain of knowledge, and a solid foundation, future leader of a society, on the hills where talent grows, fields are full of flowers, goes and it's out to the world.
Animals and the economic effect, economic importance of what animals. Animal production is all about the things we get from the animal and also their use or their importance. Let's say, let's use this animal for, for example, a goat. For example, we can get meat from a goat. We can get some um, wood from what a goat. Okay, I'll teach you things. So, example of vinegars. Yes. Oxygen gas. God. Yes. An example. Yes, man. God. An example. Plant can only absorb nitrogen. In a form of what? Nitrates. So now listen to me. Plants can only absorb nitrogen in the form of what? Nitrates. Eh? <laughs> that bacteria is called what? Azotobacter. <laughs> the bacteria that or microbes that are responsible in the natural cycle. They are. Please, we are not in that class. Mm -hmm. One is what? Yes. It's one. Another example of bacteria, gentlemen. Good. Another example. Good. Please. This is what's the question, right? So this is the year it came, and then the question itself. Okay. All right. So you read the question for your colleagues to answer. So. This is SSC 1996. Okay. Question 50. Nitrogen from the atmosphere gets into the soil by the action of A. Burning, B. Fungi, C. Microbes, D. Rain. So if you don't raise your hand. Do you hear the question or you should read again? Okay, just yes, read again. <laughs> Nitrogen from the atmosphere gets into the soil by the action of a burning b fungi c microbes d rain yes we know raise your hand yes yes man microbes yes i'm very moved by the way they teach the integrated science around here they've allocated teachers to they've mandated teachers to be teaching the integrated science separately like there's a teacher for chemistry, the core chemistry, there is a teacher for core physics, there is a teacher for core, yes, yes, there is a teacher for all the sciences, integrated science, even for agri, and I'm really impressed by that. Is it not the same in your school? No, in my school, there is just one teacher for integrated science, and I was really moved by the conduct of the teachers. They, there was this punctuality that all of them exhibited it was seen in all the teachers that came none of them were late and i was impressed by this teacher he left me mouth dropped actually he, he actually left me mouth dropped he had so many calls but he rejected all of them he rejected as in he will pick the phone and cut the line or what he would just pick the phone and cut it. You don't even talk to the person and say, oh, I'm doing this or doing that. He just picks the phone, cuts it, 
continues with what he's doing. You can see that persistence in his learning. He's, he's consistently rejecting the calls because he doesn't want to be interrupted. I, he values the time and he knows that the time is limited. So he doesn't even want to open the phone to put it on silence or anything. So as soon as the call comes in, he cuts it. As soon as the call comes in, he cuts it. And it went on and on and on and on. And I was really moved by that. I learned we have a visitor here. Should I say a special visitor? I'm Madam Hannah. I teach this class English language. So this is Adiyama Senior High School. Specifically science, two science, one student. And you're warmly welcome to the class. We wish that you have, we have a very good relationship with you. We are going to learn from you. You should also learn from us. All right? So you are welcome once again. Daniel, yes, can you express your idea on it? Um, okay. An argument refers to a debate between two or more people who are um, yes, who are debating on their opinions about a particular topic. Okay. <laughs> Gentlemen, you are late. Why? Hmm, I'm seeing so many things. <laughs> Bribery and corruption is eminent in every level of work in Ghana. It can be seen in. It's eminent in every way. In every level of work in Ghana, it can be seen in all works of life and is practiced by all sorts of workers. So, what then is bribery? What then is corruption? Bribery refers to paying someone in a lower place money or any other kind of incentive to do something unlawful or illegal. Corruption can be defined as the tendency felt by a person in a high place to accept a gift. To do something unlawful or illegal for someone. Thank you. Thank you. I like it. Yes. When he was defining bribery, he said it is um, normally seen uh, at places, people with low standard. So does it mean people with high standard they can't <laughs> take bribe or whatever? That is his view. I want you to. Yeah, I said every level of work. Every level of yes. work. Okay. I know for a fact that for everything that has an advantage, it also has a disadvantage. Well, it's true. It gets things done early and short in a shorter way and easier way. But it also encourages laziness because the person feels like there is a shorter way. The person will feel like there's a shorter way to get it done. So you don't want to go through the process. So yes. I think it's, it's, it's a problem in Ghana. The question bribery and corruption. You can say, yes, bribery and corruption is good, or yeah, it's good in Ghana. Like, it's, a, it's a good thing. And give a reasonable point. Can that person, like, be marked correct or. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, Madam, we have a question. Yes. We have a question. Madam, um, like this question, bribery and corruption is a. Uh, you can ask, like, someone can write, yes, bribery and corruption is good in that, or it's a good thing to do. And give a reasonable point. Can they mark that person for it? Why not? That's your point of view. If it, bribery and corruption is a good thing, that is what you think. You are making an argument. That is what you think. Yes. Then if you are saying it is good, get the point, get reasons why you are saying it is good. Why are you saying it is good? You have, you have to convince the one who is listening. You get this? Do you get me? I, I think it will also be a good um, Sorry. It will also be a good initiative that maybe when you are writing you, you would propose um, um, you would suggest a point that you know the opposing team is going to make and make your own point that is going to um, overshadow that point. Wait, 
But if you base more on what somebody has said and you are proving it, it's becoming a debate. You get it? When you base on what somebody has said, maybe you're somebody you argue with and then you prove that it's wrong. It's, you are trying to make it a debate. So as much as you can bring your point and say that this is what I think it is. This is my reason for saying that private corruption is good. Perhaps it has favored you in a way. If it has favored you in a way and you think it's give me your reason. Right the level, the level of interaction. In my school, there is interaction between the teachers and the students. But not like over here. Over here, there's more interaction. It makes the whole thing, it, it makes you feel like you're part of the process. You are participating. And all, this actually makes it fun. It makes the learning and teaching um, experience fun. You see, sometimes as a student, you meet, you encounter some teachers that are so slow and so one way, you just feel like, sleeping but it wasn't like that this time there was this interaction when i was coming i was actually i was actually um scared i i, I actually thought that i might sleep i might doze off and try to be caught on camera but it wasn't like that it wasn't like that at all um, we have to double our steps to get there okay so, so what today be serving today Okay. What today be serving today? Uh, maybe um, rice porridge. Yeah. Rice porridge. Yes. So do you like it? No, I don't actually eat it. So. Mm. I don't understand the reason why you don't bring that in back. You didn't bring it. I forgot. I you left. Forgot. It. It's a boys' school, so. You have to be free. Your your side, right? Yes. Mm. A <laughs> so will you be having anything extra after at um, the canteen? Yeah, they, they sell some food there, so if you want to be my eater. Oh, oh okay. you prefer dining? I'll go for the dining. I would I I would like to see what it is like. I would ah, like okay, to okay. know what it is like. Okay. So you join me on the at the pizza table. Okay. Okay. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for this food. Bless it and die with us. Amen. This is our Oh Jesus, thank you for dining with us. Amen. And then the one to see. So, what are you to do? See, you will be punished. Be punished by the dining hall people. Um, bring their boat. <laughs> Over here, the juniors are eating with the seniors, and then there's this thing that I admire too much. The juniors wait for the seniors to leave. They, they wait for the seniors to leave before they also leave, and then the prefects are in there eating with us. Now, the difference between the dining experience here in the one at my school is at my school the the population density is higher than over here so the juniors and the seniors can't eat at the same time mm. even though it's a two-story building there are a lot actually Okay, so I realized something. It's like the those in the check waited for those in the in this uniform to leave. Uh, yeah, it's a tradition in this school. Okay, so, so they, like, they, they are juniors. They dine so. with the juniors, and then the juniors have to wait for the seniors. Yes. Okay. Okay. So are the day students also allowed to go for dining? No, unless um in the, in the afternoon. Yeah, so this okay. Afternoon. Okay. 
We are moving to the um, canteen to see that food. Okay. Thank you so much. Yes, the um, pantry where they prepare the food. Oh, food, yeah. okay. You let me go and show you the um, canteen. Is that break over? Yes. So, what's on the menu today? You can buy anything from this place. But the menu yeah. board is where we went to. I mean, the dining hall. You didn't see the menu board? No. Uh, I didn't show you. Sorry about so that. So, what, what are the um, food choices? We have them. Um, watch it. Watch it. Watch it aside then. Go back. Go back. <laughs> it's your favorite, right? <laughs> So yeah, go be then biscuits then bangku rice jo I mean yeah, jo um, bread and egg. Let's go to the other end. Rice um fried rice. Fried rice. Yes, the boys call it um chobos. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe how the places. Ah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So which. Which of them is your favorite? My favorite. Mm. La Bessie. I mean, yeah, the jollof. The jollof? Yes. Wow. So you really like jollof? Okay. So maybe second break. Yeah, then we continue with the other end. Yeah, but table. Bef before that, you should have some jollof. Jollof? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. No fee. Okay. You can pass here. Let's sign it. So what subject do you have right now? English. Okay. You've not done this at all. No. You don't have no. any idea. Energy, energy changes. Energy, energy changes. Yes. Wow. So you've not done rates, chemical equilibrium. Mm -hmm. You've not done them. Mm -hmm. Then it means uh, <laughs> also um, let me give you someone. Come and solve the question with him. So from what you've done so far. I believe everybody will get this question correct. So you use ah, the same point. You, you it's you can't a strong asset. Therefore, concentration of A3O plus is equal to 0 0.025 uh -huh. molar. So you know that um, the formula for pH is what? Negative log of A3O plus. That's a linear minor. So here you got the concentration to be 0 0.025. What was the concentration? Now, what is the initial concentration of the HCl? So, how was the teaching? Oh, it was very educative and it wasn't boring at all. It was actually, the teachers are actually very interactive. So, I even thought I was going to sleep, but I didn't sleep <laughs> because it wasn't boring at all. Like, uh... there was this teacher to student interaction okay. it wasn't only the teacher doing all the talking the students were also talking and i really admire the the energy that the students exhibit in class the way they answer questions and stuff okay so at the first place where are you with your plate then oh in gscs we don't use lunch box when we are going to the dining room why you don't have or it's just that you don't use i don't it's just a tradition <laughs> you just hold it in tradition you. oh you so, know boys and food for them it's like time wasting okay, they are in a hurry so, to go and get their food yeah and to them it's like it's a single sex food they are the only ones there so they are not shy uh, okay but here you be shy, huh? I'm not shy. No. Oh, okay. Niger, Ghana, Burkina, Uganda, then Gambia, Ethiopia, Ebeko, Dina. Not only. You know, I don't know what you mean. I like to know a boy in your school. I like to know a boy in your school called Netiquette. Netiquette? Yeah. No, I've not heard of any boy that he goes by Daniel. Ah, I formed you by your leave. No, 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 no. It doesn't sound familiar. Hey, but we heard this song. And this song from this one. The Dick song. The Dick song. Oh. I'm talking about that, but we sang that song. Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah. Um, 
on a more on a more serious note, it was this now our school that our school should use at my uncle. Thank you. Bless you. Thank 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 you. Okay. Some of them, yeah, then some will join them. So, would you like to go back to your school and you stay here? <laughs> to be honest, that, that would be a very difficult question to answer based on what I've come to experience here. Mm -hmm. So, I'm still thinking about it. You are still thinking about it. <laughs> so, you like to be in this school? I'm still thinking. Yeah. So, how is the food? Oh, the food was... <laughs> so delicious. The food was better. Uh, okay. Ah, so, I, I, I just realized that there are two buses. One looks old and one looks new. Mm -hmm. What's up with that? Um, this one, um, it's the old bus. This one is the new one. So, oh. the old... So, the you times. don't use the old one? We use it. You still use it? Yes, it's, hey. it's strong. It's still strong. Hey. Yes, <laughs> it's for the day students. Yeah, so when we are going somewhere, then we use the new one. Oh, okay, so it means some of the day students take the bus to school. Yes, oh. in and out. That's that's nice. Is it what? So, um, I would like to try out some of the food I did. Canteen. Yes, please. Oh, okay. So which one? Let's pick your favorite. My favorite. <laughs> okay. This is not the only canteen here. We have some at the um Chazako block. Oh. But I didn't show you that one. Sorry for that. This is our uh, um, listing um, where they work. It's pond, fish pond. Your fish pond. Yes. So, so the fish you eat at the dining hall <laughs> is this where you get it? No, no, no. <laughs> it's it's not like that. So here are the fish pond boys, fish pond boys. So it's just for those who are studying. It's just for practicals. Okay. So let's go and check in, sir. So what, what's going on over here? Yeah. At this area? It's They are planting something. Yeah. Uh, Maybe, yes, they are planting something. But come and see the fish. It's a catfish. So each and every day, they change the water for them. Oh, oh, okay. Of course, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Uh, uh, because I even got the chance of feeding the fish. <laughs> that was a very fun experience, I must say. <laughs> so uh, there was even this part of it where uh, there was this instance where it was like the fish was hopping out of the the, the water with the, the water, and then I just and I was just startled, <laughs> and then I just moved back, and those around were laughing. <laughs> yeah, so it was a, it was actually a very fun experience. The whole thing was a very joyous occasion. We agree. We have fishery, and then we also have the the school garden at the back of the the girls. You see this water, the water we just changed. If you look at this one, it's very dirty. We are now changing it here. And the fish are inside. This is very good for vegetables. You don't need to use any chemical, any fertilizer. Oh, you okay. use this one. You let them grow. So in a way, you are recycling it we because recycling. you are going to use it to plant. We are recycling the water. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah. So we, we did pipe underground pipe to the new Delzi. We send the water from here to the other place for us to use to oh, wow. water there. Uh, so this is some of the fish we have. There are very big ones here. You can have a look at them. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, you have to. Yeah, you see, they are very big. Uh, uh, we started this as a project to teach the students how to hatch for fig and leaves how to reel them and how to market them. We, we do all the processing. 
we produce our own fingerlings. We wear them when they are grown. We process them and sell them ourselves. Yeah, this is one of the new projects all over Ghana and Africa, and people are doing it. It's very profitable. Uh -huh. Fish farm, fish farm, yeah. Very interesting. We do tilapia and then catfish. This is catfish. So this is the catfish. This is the catfish. So what? Where is the tilapia? The tilapia, in fact, the tilapia is not yet. Tilapia need a bigger space than this one. Oh, okay. uh -huh. So we are not trying to do that one. We have it elsewhere, but not elsewhere. Okay. This place is too small for okay. the tilapia production. And you see, look, look, look at this. And I can see some plants. Yeah, by... this is what we call a uh, snake tomentos. This particular one. There's tomentos inside. Hey. Yeah, when you break it, I will see tomato, but it's not ready yet. Snake tomatoes. Yes, yes. Okay. So during dry season, when there is no tomatoes, this is the best substitute. Oh, we can use it at wow. the place of tomatoes. I actually never knew there was something like yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, we have it. We have many people don't know about it, but we have it. We have it. We have it. So these are the boys who work at the fish farm. They are also learning the process. Every year we have. Last year we had the form two students because they are now getting nearer to form three. We release them. So the phone ones are now working here. They are also learning the processes, how to produce their own fingerlings, how to rear them, how to let them grow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And this place we have fingerlings there. They are now they are now growing. As you can see, uh -huh. the water is dirty, so you will not see them well. Mm, but uh, please give me the feed. Open the. <clears throat> And then give me that one. Yeah, this is what we used to call them. We are conditioning them. Anytime they hear this sound, you see them, they are coming up. It means that can I share food is ready. You can try, why not? Uh -huh. So it means that food is ready. Come out and eat. So we see them. You see that they are coming out. Uh, boss, this one the water is very dirty. Let's check the other one. The other one the water is clear, so you can see them well. So you go, let's come here so that you call them. Mm -hmm. yeah. You can stand here. Uh -huh. So call them for me. So you see. Can I answer? Yeah, mm -hmm. you can feed them. Look at this one. This one, they take the bigger feed. They don't take the small one. This one is too small for them. Uh, give us the bigger feed too. Take it. Take it. Uh -huh. So you can come here and then see to this one too. So, <coughs> so how many times do you feed them a day? We feed them two times a day. Just two times. Yes, yes. When they are very young, younger than this, we feed them three times a day. But at this stage, two is okay for them. Oh, okay. Uh, but the bigger ones, sometimes you can feed them only once. Only once. Yeah, this one. And they, they actually are, they are, survive. Yes, they are already grown, so they don't need much. And you, you can go and call them, and you give them the food. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay because we are changing the water and no? they will not eat. Uh -huh. Because they have changed the environment. The water is now new. So they will stay for two hours before they will start eating. Uh -huh. okay. uh -huh. You see the water? We are now refilling the water. Uh -huh. And you see these bigger ones, these are the ones we use. To produce the younger ones you can have a look at it these are they are very big we take the female and the male we take the egg from the female the sperm from the male then we mix it together we have you a small lab yourself. yes hey. we mix them together we uh, introduce oxygen to them then within 24 hours so you have students who are who have yes. mandated yes. to be yes. doing this yes every student who is willing even the mixing, uh, the mixing, yes, they can also do. Oh wow! Them, yeah, how they can do it. Oh wow! They can do it. Yes, we do this for catfish, tilapia, and even other fishes like redfish and the rest. We can do it for them. That means with the with the training you are giving them by the 
by the time they are done with SHS, they should be able to I do it you, on their own. I tell you, they have to. Oh, wow. Mm. Those who are really serious will do that. And last year, I have three, five uh, females who were all, all, all the ladies they've completed. They are gone. Uh -huh. And I'm sure very soon they will start doing it in their various ones. So this uh, where we are. And is it, is it on high demand? Hey. Do you get a lot of bites? I tell you, this one, eh, we, we use kilo. We, we weigh them. Currently, one kilo, point and kill. This particular one, for example, can go as high as 150 Ghana cities. As you see, like that, when it is ready made, cook, ready to be eaten. Uh, you see this particular one. Uh, mm. So a kilo now is 30 cities. Oh, wow. 30 cities, yes. Wow. Yes. So what's the highest weight? Oh, yeah, they can weigh as much as 8 kilos, eight, uh, 10 kilos when you keep them. This one is, <laughs> don't be afraid, please. This one is like 2.5 kilos now. So when I keep it for three years, four years, it grow and very big. The time will come, we cannot even stay in this. Uh, uh. So, how is your top? How is it? Oh. It was very interesting because I've actually learned. I've actually learned new things because today I've seen things that I've not seen before. I never knew that there was something called snake tomatoes. <laughs> so yes, I've actually learned a few new things. Okay, so are you trying to tell me that you don't have um, fish pond in your school? No, we, we actually don't. We don't have a fish pond. You don't have a fish pond in your yes. school? Ah, hey, like seriously, boys. Oh no, we don't. What have you guys been doing? <laughs> Playing, learning, just learning, having fun. Which one? We do both, actually. We balance it. We don't play too much. We don't play too much. Yes. You we like to go upstairs to see what's there. Up. Yes. Okay, then. No. I think it's time for um the lesson but to begin so they are not in yet. My colleagues are having their so. Okay, okay. I mean you know the classes here, right? The, the three classes. The three classes here. Yeah, general arts, visual arts, and science. Okay. At three, visual arts, B then science one. Okay. So upstairs here. So yeah. you don't have a private block for the form to Countries. Um, there are no private, countries inside here. But we in have, their way, okay. would, this, would you this, have a private block for the form trees and a private block for the form two students? Yes, this this blocks there. Yeah, it is for um the senior. It is senior block. We name it senior block. Okay. So those the those buildings, yeah, the junior blocks. Okay. Have you seen it? Okay. It's it's actually a wonderful view from here. Yes. Yes. So you said you're a house prefect. Wedding house prefect. Yes. So what do you do when one of um one of the members of your house foods like if it is a junior and she's supposed to do something and then she didn't do it like maybe she was supposed to sweep the staircase today and she didn't do it. What would you do? We will have to punish that person. So what sort of punishment? Reading, scrubbing, then yes, reading and scrubbing, and perhaps scrubbing the staircase. So are there ever cases of people running out of school to town? No, there are no cases like. But what's the penalty for such an act? Mm, suspension. Suspension. Yes. Definite or indefinite? Indefinite. Indefinite suspension. So, science 2 class shares it. Good afternoon class. Good afternoon class. So, the science 2 class, there are not many. There are not many? Yes. They are just science 2. We have one and two, just science. Oh. So they are the agri agri class. Oh. Then the pure science class. So let's go to the um, visual arts class. Yes. 
I think they are really are bad guys. So most of them are, are the stealing. I mean, you know where the stealer is. Oh, no. You don't but I can you see know. that gentleman drawing something. Go and take it. So, is it a project work? Is it for everyone? Uh, it's my own personal art. Oh. It's very impressive, actually. Oh. It even looks better than the photo. So, did you, did you make this yourself or it's a printed picture? You made it yourself. Wow. Wow. This is very impressive. A tree and an elephant on the woman's head and it's like they are in a hair it's it talks about uh, african women you see how the african map is they are large in africa uh -huh. so this is an african woman okay. okay when i saw it my first my my first and honest opinion was oh it is just a um, it is just a printed picture, but it actually is, yeah, it is actually handmade, and it's very impressive. That one thing I've observed is that it's like everyone here is so sociable. They are all socializing with each other. Even the way they welcome, there was actually no sense of hostility. Everybody was just so friendly. Everybody interacted with me. I really felt at home. And I think, and I also think that you being my boost really made my day. So thank you. Okay. So any question at all? You, you yes. Um, I would like to know what time is light out in your school? Um, so light out is uh, nine o'clock on the dot. Okay. So what happens to those who are found outside the dormitories at that time? Disco scrubbing the house. Disco. Oh, I see. So um, has there ever been any case of like maybe? boys harassing girls or something you know it's a mixed school so these are some of the myths we hear outside there i don't even know if it's a myth per se no boys don't harass girls here so um um so in my school we produce our own water our own drinking water our own water for we produce our own water for domestic use okay yeah we have How one about year you? we have one year you have one year yeah, bazaar so is that your main source of water? Yes. Okay. So do you ever experience any form of light crisis, water crisis? No. Okay. There's nothing like that. No. I forgot to ask after dining. So where do you wash your bowls? I didn't see anybody washing their bowls or their cups around the dining hall. Do you have a special place for washing your utensils? Yes. We have. But I, but I show you. I showed you, right? No, I, I don't was, remember. I showed you that place. Um, the pantry. Yeah, the pantry. That's where they wash their bowls. Yes. Oh, that's really nice. I didn't take you there. So, so does your school organize vacation classes when you're on vacation? Yes. That okay, okay. At do they do it at the school premises or? They have a special place where they do it. They have a special place in town. Nigeria, Burkina, Uganda, and Gambia, Ethiopia, Ebekodina. Not only that, I say oh, Rwanda, Sasa, just to mention a few. so much i made new friends like the energy was just i don't even know how to describe it oh. to be honest <laughs> that the the energy the 
the student exerted and in the energy that the teachers also exhibited, the way they were interacting, interacting with the students, it made the whole thing a fun experience because it wasn't one way, it wasn't like only the students are talking. It was, it was a, there was this student-teacher interaction. There were questions, yeah, okay. answers, both from teachers and from students. And it made the whole thing fun for me. And the students, I must say, were very, very, very hospitable. There was no sense of hostility whatsoever. Like, I even feel like I'm a part of this school already. Rating our teachers on the scale from 0 to 100, how will we rate our teachers? Oh. And why? I'll give them a 95. Why 95? Not 100. Well, well, I would say that um, a 95 because they were very punctual to class. Oh, okay. They were very punctual and then the way they, they taught made the whole thing so filling. And it was, it was a very, very joyous occasion for me. I don't know about those in the class though. Our class is over, so I have to send you to him to check you out. But first, thanks for coming. Oh, thank you. You are always welcome on our land if you want to come back. Thank you. So right now, let me take you to the headmaster's office. Yes, please. His remarks are he's a, he's a very, very perfect gentleman. He's a, he should actually be he, an example, an example to all the men out there. I mean, his dressing, the way he greeted me, the way he interacted. Yes, and I, I actually respect him for the way his students conduct, conduct themselves. The overall, the general, the general conduct of the students was very, very impressive and, heart, and it was heartfelt. Like the way they accepted me, the way they treated me in class. They were so sociable. And I really want to, um, I, I, I actually doff my heart for him for this particular thing that I observed. Over here, over here is like the only language known to everybody here is English. Everybody is speaking English. And yes, it's good. Yes. I didn't hear Fanti. I didn't hear Pigeon. I didn't hear Pi. I didn't hear. Ah. <laughs> yes, and it was very, very impressive. Yes. Ah. Oh, yes. Oh, really? Oh, yes. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. So, I must say that I had a fantastic day. Yeah. Yeah, like, we are really fantastic day. Mm. And so, were well, your expectations met? Yes. In fact, they were over met. Hey, actually. Then I have to clap for ourselves. Oh, yes. Good. Tell me some of the things that you were expecting and they were over met, as you said. I was expecting um, an, um, a very neat environment and one that is serene and quiet for teaching and learning to go on. And that expectation was met. Yes, and it was also over met because in, when I was in class, I realized that the only voice I could hear was that of my teacher. So it's like the whole school was quiet. All the students in the other classes were quiet. And when I came, I realized that the whole, the whole place has been cleaned. Like there was no filth. And this is not because you were coming. That is our lifestyle. Yes. Uh -huh, that's our lifestyle. And so we thank God that that expectation has been met. And so thank you for your good observation. Any other thing that enticed you so much so that you keep doing it? How about yes. the teachers? Yes, the conduct of the teachers. The teachers were very punctual to class and they were very interactive. They made the whole teaching and learning process fun for me because they were, they were asking us questions, we were asking them questions. It wasn't like they are the ones doing all the talking. Even at a point in time, we got up to win, draw the solutions on the board. Yes, so it really made it fun. There was you, you went to the board yourself? No. Somebody but, did? Yes, no, but 
I didn't go to the board, but there were um, instances where I got out to answer questions and That's ask true. questions. Yes. You went to my fish pond. Yes, please. How was it? Ooh, very impressive. It's very impressive the initiative that you have implemented here, the fish pond initiative. Yes. Are you going to suggest to Reverend Doctor? Yes, <laughs> I think I will. You went to the dining hall. Yes, How was it? The meals. The way my, my 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 ladies and the gentlemen were looking at you. How how was it? Okay. Um I really admire the behavior they put up at the dining hall. There was no rushing, like there was no fighting over the food. They were just calm and they obeyed the dining hall prefect. When she said, Oh eyes closed, they closed their eyes. With the, everybody shared the grace you get you hear everybody's voice yes and they and there is this tradition that i admire they we are dining with the juniors and then the juniors wait for us the seniors to leave before they also leave yes it, it shows respect yes and i would personally like to congratulate you on how you are running the whole place i don't know how you do it but it's like the general language of the students is english i didn't hear anybody speaking any other language aside English and that was very impressive for me. Students were neatly, the, all, the, all the ladies were neatly dressed in their um, ironed apparels. Oh, over here there is a haircut, like the boys and girls here have their hairs grown and I felt it was weird because where I'm from, in the land of the giants, we always cut our hair, we always, we have this standard. We keep our hair low like this. I don't know whether maybe it's their tradition, but I felt it was weird since I'm not really used to it. And if it is not their tradition, then I think it should be checked. Well, in my school, our masters check it by conducting um, general inspections, every monthly general inspections, where they go around and train people and cut people's hair for them, those who have their hairs grown. And yes, it, it, it keeps the boys under control when it comes to that aspect yes and so on behalf of my management we want to thank you so much for visiting our school meet your candid observation you've made it known to us we are going to make sure that everything every area that we're supposed to improve upon will do that and let's keep this relationship okay we are so pleased honored to have you here we are going to keep this interactions and exchange program we are going to pop champagne, okay? And we are going to do it right in front of the camera. And so the champagne should be brought out and we're going to pop it so that it will cement the relationship between the giants and the conquerors. I think the giants and the conquerors, when we come together, nobody can conquer us. Good, so we're going to pop our champagne. Yes, and on behalf of my school, I would also like to thank you and your management for accepting me because over here, they received me so well. There was no sense of hostility. I really felt at home. I could really feel the school spirit in the school anthem. Wow. Yes. Yay. Oh, true. And I am one of the girls to teach me, but she didn't get she didn't get the chance to teach me. Yes, because we went for dining. That's why you have to come again so that we teach you. I will. Steph, I will. It's, it's good at that. She will teach you very well, and it will get internalized in you, and you will live as a giant conquer. Yes. Uh -huh. There are some giants who can conquer, but once you have been to this land, you will conquer as a giant. I already feel like I'm uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, So this is what we want to do. Uh, uh, yeah, this one, yeah. So this is to you, Daniel. I think. Uh, what we have embossed here will indicate, and the team of prefects. And it will tell them that we appreciate the interactions, the uh, warm reception they give to our, our lady, Max. Okay. Reverend Dr. Okay. Khan, the headmaster and the management, that again we appreciate the relationship they had with my lady, Max. And so this is an appreciative token from Adyambra Senior High School to the management of GSTS. So receive it on their behalf.
we also want to say that High School Africa is doing so much for, for you people, we can't pay you, okay? We just want to show that what you are doing is so, 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 so uh, a blessing to schools in Ghana. And so we can't pay you. There's something small in this bag that my assistant administration want to present to High School Africa. And so as you are enjoying it, you are praying that our Denver Senior High School will go high and high and high and continue to do the conquest. Since you have come to come and start listening next week, okay. so for High School Africa. For High School Africa. Yeah. Hey, anybody who's ladies, are you, are you standing for me to bring it out there? Okay. Yeah, so. All this is being captured by the camera. Hey, wonderful. Hey, hey. Good. <laughs> so we are going to propose a toast to the eternal relationship between GSTS and Adiyam High School. Between the giants and the The giants and the conquerors. Yes. And so from this day forward, we are going to be the conquerors who are giants. Yes. And we are also going to be the giants who wow. are wonderful. Hey. Hey. You see, you see my head boy, the way my head boy is serving with enthusiasm. Good. Right. I don't really get to see girls at home until maybe I'm on vacation. It was really nice seeing how the boys and the girls here are socializing with each other. They are not fighting. They are all friends. Even in the dining hall, hey, boys eating with girls, boys sitting by a girl. Oh, it was so nice. It was so beautiful. It was so, so beautiful. If you should, could get a chance to um, um, maybe uh, change from um, uh, being in a boys' school to a, a mid school, like a single sex school to a mid school, would you do that? After the experience I've had here, honestly, yes, I will. <laughs> <laughs> but I know my mother will not allow me, so I'll not even try it. Oh, shall we welcome our lady conquer? Hey. You know, our lady conquer. The one who did the conquest at GSS. Hey, hey, hey. 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 Good. So you are proposing the toast. Good. The toast to the giants and the conquerors. Yeah. 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 Good. Cheers. Cheers, everybody. Good. Long life. Cheers. Good. Okay. Hey, my lady, congratulations. Hey. <laughs> hey, boy. Wonderful. Mm. So thank you so much. We shall get responsible adult men from GSTS. We shall get responsible women and men from Adembra Senior High School to steer the affairs of this nation to a successful end, a glorious end. Grant us that grace. I pray for all these students that you grant them that capacity to steady, put out their best, give off good moral lifestyle. So that as they are serving their nation, they are serving you, God. We also pray for we, the leadership, that you grant us the grace to provide the right kind of leadership for these young ones to grow, to become responsible adults. I pray for High School Africa, this great job that they are doing. Father, bless them, yes. guide them. Anytime they will travel to any place, even to offer this wonderful service, grant them Jenny Macy's. Bless them and open doors of sponsorship unto them so that they can keep on doing this great job that they are doing. We thank you as my son, as our boy, as our conqueror, Daniel goes back to GSS. Go ahead of him just as you led him even to this place successfully. We pray that continue to be with him over there and elevate him to higher grounds to the glory of your name. We thank you and we bless you for answered prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And shall we clap to the glory of God? So Dan, thank you so much. We appreciate your visit. God bless you.